All right, welcome to Ruck Up VR. Today we are playing, actually I should say testing out VR workout. So I've been playing this for a little bit now um, and I want to go into quite a few of the details before I actually start doing the actual workouts. Now I had to record this twice because one thing I do want to state, if you are trying this on an Oculus, I highly recommend you go through the Oculus app um, which you can download into the description below from Oculus Store and have it obviously side loaded onto your or loaded onto your Oculus. I was uh, trying it the other way and uh, loaded, I downloaded the PC version and I tried to stream it to the PC only for the purpose of um, setting it up and doing recording for that. Um, what I noticed was that uh, the quality, obviously, for the recording is a lot better. But what the issue is, is that my hand tracking, and I'll explain this in a minute, uh, was not cooperating clearly enough, and it was really kind of messing up the whole video. So with that said, um, one thing I, okay, so I'm going to get into the, the, the details of this, because there is a lot. So first I'm going to go into advanced, actually, I, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so what, what we're going to do is... Should have hand tracking on, so game's not really reading. There we go, we got that on. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you first and foremost is controllers, set them aside. Won't be needing those bad boys. Okay, we got our hands, ta-da! Four, three, two, one. All right, so this game uh, uses hand tracking, very simple. Uh, one of the few games that I actually use hand tracking for is this one. Um, I'm more of a controller type of guy. It just feels a little more realistic, and I'm not really actually touching anything, so that seems weird to me. So they put a lot of work into this. Um, I am going to go do a quick three-minute workout, which I've already recorded, and I'll splice that video in because that seemed to work. But I'll splice that video in afterwards. But I need to go through all the details of what this app has first because it's a lot. So once you get into this app, you are going to do the intro first. It's going to give you an idea of where you should put your head, uh, what types of things you should watch out for, movement of hands and legs and arms and all that other good jazz. And then it gives you these options. You can warm up, easy, medium, hard. Every time you go into one, you have the ability to go three minutes, five minutes, or ten minutes and do the duration of the workout you want. Now these are easy, these are easier ones to do. Um, these aren't your complex, um, your long, long, long workouts, but you can still have that option. So if we go to advance, and I can't stress enough how huge this app is. Most of the workout apps that I've tried um, they're very linear, like in the way of, um, of information that you get. Yeah, you get statistics here and there, which is great. And, that, and that's something that I'm a big, big fan of. But realistically, with this one here, they've added so much more. One of the main things that they've added was the ability to have your own music playlists in, in, um, in the app itself. So you have uh, whatever songs you have loaded to your headset here, but you can also add YouTube playlists to the tracks itself as well. So you can go into your browser, uh, your computer browser, and make sure that you have those songs and playlists added, which is a huge game changer for me. I can't do that. I can't show you how it works because unfortunately that's going to throw me into some kerfuffle with uh, copyright issues, So uh, especially on YouTube and other platforms. So unfortunately, you're just going to have to trust me on this one. But as you can see, there's different type of music that they already have preloaded. And if I go to it, if I go to it and I bring it down, there's a lot of different stuff that they already currently have. How can you tell that I don't use hand tracking that much? Okay, well, you get it. <laughs> they're, they're, you can have more different types of music. One thing they, they do have, too, is a lot of social interaction with um, the other people working out. So they have groups working out at certain days and certain times. It's usually 1800 on Fridays and Saturdays. So that's UTC time. That's mountain time. Um, so I recommend if you want to join in the party, go to the group session and then you can join in and they'll you can be on Discord and talk to them through there or whatever you might want. So the difference here is when you log in, by the way, I'm going to say this again, this is a free app. Okay. And my Headphones are going all over the place, but I'm trying to explain this app because it's huge and there's a lot of it. Hey, I have the tiger. I didn't even notice that. Um, but you log in through your app and you get custom YouTube playlists like we just talked about. Uh, store workout results. I'm showing you as if you can see what's in my head and I'm, 
pointing to absolutely nothing. Online challenges, multiplayer workouts, leveling system. Whoa, touching stuff now. Now it feels weird. It's weird when you're using hand tracking and you go to touch something and there's nothing there, but then you actually touch something in real life. Kind of a trip out. And then um, login required to play. But you got your exercises, your workouts, your challenges, your warm ups. Uh, you can set the difficulty um, and just go from there. And then, same with the environment and the type of statistics that you want. If you go to environment, all right, so I got my hand trackers back. My, not my hand trackers, my controllers, just because it's easier to me, for me to explain it. So, you can change your environment settings. You can go to your settings, you can change a whole bunch of stuff about your personal, your uh, sex, your arm length, your weight, your age, everything up there. Save push-ups, equalizer, just goes on and on. News, I'd highly recommend sticking up with this because they explain a lot. Statistics, again, your statistics, I've only started um, this app kind of more full-time. I used to use a couple others before, but I'm more leaning so towards this one only because of the massive amount of uh, different types of workouts that you can do. And the hand tracking does change the game. It allows you to do push-ups, uh, crunches, which I'll explain in the other video, but push-ups, crunches, and all that stuff through it. And you got your multiplayer. You can join rooms. You can create a room and have your friends join in. You got your heart rate sensors, which obviously will go through on the app. And then... That's your mirror. Hey, what's up? And then experimental, which is beast mode, free weights, camera trackers. Like, again, it's just, it's, it's absolutely insane what they've added into this. There's also going to be features coming in where you can add in your own avatar later on. So I've talked with the developers. I think they're a great team. Um, this is a free app. Again, I'm going to say it like five more times. So there's no reason why if you're somebody who works out with the VR, this is, it, there's no excuse for you to at least try it and see how you like it. And I'm going to show you in the next slide here, um, what is a uh, workout looks like and I'll stop talking. Oops.
Oops. minutes. Not sure if this is going to be a bonus mode or not. No. So again, it is complex. There's a lot more involved. There is the push-ups. There's burpees. There's more intense running. There's more crunches, more, more intense workouts than what I just showed you. As I said before, there's group workouts Fridays and Saturdays oh, I thought it was every day I apologize so it is six o'clock UTC time so it's mountain time and like I said you can set your goals to whatever you need them to be but this is a great 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 way to for you to work out the options are endless and you can also which they're working on but you can do you can add your own playlist in here. Well, right now you can add your own songs. So if you got songs loaded onto your computer or your headset, or if you got anything like podcasts or anything, you can load them up and you can work out to those, or you can connect your YouTube library to this, which is seriously badass. That I've been waiting for for a long time. You have different groups. You have your exercises, your workouts, your warm ups, and your challenges which are all great they all work very well and you can do um, farther reaching as you can see I'm pushing it around so you also have multiplayer heart rate monitors the mirror experimental and you can also put in all your information um, age sex weight um, all that demographic to help your uh, statistics you can change your height if you have to and that helps with your reach I don't know what else to say about this. Like the amount of stuff that you can do on here is absolutely insane compared to uh, the other apps that I've used. Now that three minutes that I worked out for, that's really not really enough. I didn't even break a sweat. I'm going to go hard at it right now. But what I do recommend is if you haven't tried this out yet, there'll be a link in the description below. It's downloaded. It's free. <laughs> so I can't stress that enough either. And so you can't really go wrong with a free app with all the uh, added features that this one has. So as always, stay safe out there. Catch you on the flip side. And I'll see you in the multiplayer for sure. Try to beat my score because I know you can. All right. Stay safe. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out.